11 venomous imposters. Number 11, Beard Dropping Spider. Okay, sorry, but that really is its name, unless you'd prefer Kalania Excavata, and I have no idea if I'm even saying that right. But it does sound a bit more dignified. At any rate, here's an example of a venomous creature disguising itself to avoid becoming prey. In this case, it's an arachnid found in Australia. They're very small creatures, around 12 millimeters, and while their exact level of toxicity remains unknown, the venom may cause mild illness in humans. Chances are you'll never get close enough to find out. The spider manages to sit still and resemble bird droppings as a means to evade its predators, chiefly birds. Now the strategy seems to be that birds wouldn't be interested in eating, well, you know. So far though, the strategy seems to be working for the bird dropping spider, but can you think of a better name for them? Number 10. Viceroy Butterfly. Okay, so this is an example of a poisonous imposter, but it's often regarded as a classic one. Well, the monarch butterfly is known to be poisonous when eaten, and predators such as birds, toads, and frogs sense this due to its bright orange color. The monarch gains its toxicity while it's still a caterpillar feeding on milkweed plants. But the viceroy isn't poisonous, as the mimic the viceroy assumes the patterns and coloration of a monarch and takes advantage of the monarch's poisonous rep to avoid being eaten. Number 9. Indo-Pacific Mimic Octopus to date, this is the only known marine animal capable of mimicking a wide variety of animals. As a smaller octopus with a total length of two feet, including arms, their diameter measures about the width of a pencil at its widest. It's known to morph into venomous marine animals like lionfish and sea snakes, which many predators will actively avoid. The mimic octopus will also impersonate jellyfish, since many predators of octopus have an aversion to jellyfish. But this animal also uses its mimicry as a to feed. By disguising itself as a crab, for instance, seeking a mate, it can lure in and devour its unwary suitor. As mentioned, the mimic octopus is the first known species able to disguise itself as more than one species, and it's still not known just how many animals it can imitate. Number 8. Hawk moth caterpillar. Now, caterpillars offer some amazing examples of mimicry in nature, so let's take a look at a few. Here's a creature you might think was photoshopped, but it's just another example of nature's wizardry. The hawk moth caterpillar can retract its legs and expand the front part of its body, allowing it to assume the appearance of a snake. You really have to look twice, or maybe more, to believe it's not a true reptile. What appears to be the top of the snake's head is actually the underside of the caterpillar, taking on the appearance of a snake is certainly one way to discourage potential predators. Number 7. Elephant Hawk Moth Caterpillar Now it doesn't get its name due to its size, but because the front of the larva seemingly has the appearance of an elephant's trunk. Two pairs of false eyes on top of its head make it seem bigger than it really is, and serves to drive away predators like birds who could mistake it for a venomous snake. Number 6. Spicebush Swallowtail Caterpillar. The larva exhibits the ability to mimic bird droppings, which would understandably encourage predators to leave them be. Wonder if they're related to that bird dropping spider we talked about by any chance. Now, this would understandably encourage predators to just leave these caterpillars be, but at a later stage, the caterpillar will turn a yellow greenish color and develop markings resembling two large black dots with white highlights. The coloration and design gives the caterpillars the appearance of a green snake, which serves to repel predators, birds in particular. The caterpillar can even create the illusion of a snake's tongue, enhancing its disguise. Number 5. Ant Mimicking Spiders Now this is a case where a venomous creature is mimicking a non-threatening animal in order to lure in prey and to protect itself. Ant mimicking spiders resemble ants to such a degree that they'll even wave the front legs over their heads to create the illusion of antenna and adopt a zigzagging pattern of movement more reminiscent of ants than spiders. Over 300 species of spiders are known to exhibit this behavior. The subterfuge allows spiders to not only prey upon ants, often killing them, while they're alone so as 
not to alert the colony. You know, certain species will actually use their silk as a safety line, transporting the victim away while the venom takes effect. They sound kind of like natural ninjas, don't they? Well, these mimic spiders also gain protection from their own predators, such as vicious spitting spiders that spew a liquid containing both venom and silk. That mixture hardens on contact, restraining the prey while the venom takes effect. Because these spiders manage to deceive both ants and the predators, they tend to epitomize the idea of keeping your enemies close. Number four, scorpion fish. As the name implies, these fish can pack quite a sting, and they include many of the world's most venomous species. The sharp spines are slathered with a venomous mucus, which contains neurotoxins comparable to cobra venom in toxicity. Scorpion fish are known for being patient predators and for staying perfectly still on the seafloor. They have an uncanny gift for mimicking their surroundings. Their camouflage can be so convincing that the predators can strike without their victims ever knowing what hit them. They tend to favor tropical waters including the Indian and Pacific Oceans and the Red Sea. Number 3. Moths. Spiders tend to prey on metal mark moths, so these insects wisely decided to assume the uniform of its venomous enemy. And while moths would seem to have the advantage in being able to fly away, the real threat is jumping spiders, which are extremely agile and can jump several times the length of their bodies. Metal mark moths can arrange their wings in such a way to mimic the spider's pose, making it appear to be a bigger, meaner arachnid. Usually, the fooled spider will back down or go around the moth, giving it a wide berth. That's a cool name, though, you know, the Metal Mark Moth. Think it'd make a great enemy for Spider-Man, perhaps. Number two, flies. Only bees hover around flowers seeking nectar and pollen, right? Well, that's the buzz, but it's not completely true. Hoverflies can often be seen exhibiting the same behavior, and many species of this insect actively feed mostly on pollen and nectar. They're also known to mimic venomous wasps and bees, which helps deter predators. In fact, you have to look closely to tell certain species of this fly apart from actual bees or wasps. About 6,000 species of this fly have been identified thus far and they're found on every continent except Antarctica. Would you have guessed that after wild bees, these flies are considered the most important group of pollinators in nature? Number one, Scarlet King Snake. Coral snakes have some of the most potent venoms of any snake found in North America, containing a neurotoxin that can cause respiratory failure in humans within hours. Coral snakes also have a distinctive pattern on their skin that is shared with the scarlet king snake, which happens to be non-venomous. In fact, certain species of king snake possess an immunity to the venom of other snakes and are known to eat rattlesnakes. Because of their similar patterns and colorations, the scarlet king snake is often misidentified as a coral snake, which works to the king snake's advantage as predators seek to avoid the coral's venomous bite. That's because certain venomous snakes have developed vibrant warning colors that scare off predators in advance. That formula of bright colors and patterns equaling venomous or poisonous animals is seen throughout the animal kingdom. 